Good day, Melbourne. It's a bright and sunny day right here in Melbourne. We are walking out to the city, and behind me is the everyday backpack. I'm gonna put this one out there, uh, walking the whole entire day, and do a quick review on how I feel about the bag right here. What's up guys, this is John and in this video, we will be reviewing the everyday backpack by Peak Design. Let's admit the addiction. A photographer's mathematical equation to how many bags should one own is x equals to x plus 1, where x is the total amount of bags we own right now. I've backed the Kickstarter campaign in July and I've received it right before Christmas, just in time for my trip down under, a chance to let me test out the bag in the real world. This bag is loaded with so many features as shown in the Kickstarter campaign, but does it live up to the hype? The backpack comes in two sizes, the 20 liter and the 30 liter. I've picked up the 30 liter. I need the additional capacity when I travel. I may not utilize the entire backpack when I'm at the location shooting, but I certainly need the room to fit all the equipment and laptops when I travel to various places. I'm glad that my guest teammates work out pretty well. The bag fits enough gears for me without making me looking like a hero in a half shell. The initial feeling of the bag was great. The touch to feel screams quality, like when I pick up the bag for the very first time, it felt like this bag is so well built. The entire bag's material selected was on point, with really tough outer fabrics, with soft lining cloth-like material inside, and well built metal hardware and hinges. The coated wax on the bag gave a very confident feel that it will be water resistant as marketed. Here's what I've planned to put in my bag. I've got two different camera systems, the Canon 5D Mark III together with the 15mm 1.2L and the Samsung NX1 mirrorless system with various lenses. I've got additional triggers, batteries and a 15-inch MacBook Pro. I've got a headphones and Xiaomi battery packs and various cables which all fits into the Peak Designs Feels pouch. I've got the Rode microphone, hard drives, memory cards and my travel pouch and travel documents. I don't reckon I want to fit any more in a backpack. Even if I could, it would have been a chore to lug an overload backpack throughout the travel. I would overpack the bag with my jacket for in-flight in case I freeze up in the plane. The mag latch system allows the bag to expand whenever needed. The metal hinges allow the bag to be overpacked and I think that's a great option to have. Going through airport security was a breeze. I load my wallet, watches, coins and loose items from my pocket to the side pockets of the bag during security checks helps me to keep these loose items together as I'm pretty absent-minded. Now my laptop comes out from the sleeves easily when I have to take it out for the security screening although the backpack was fully loaded. All these items and gears fits into the bag with the help of the origami flexi folds dividers to organize items. Something uniquely made for the everyday backpack. It feels like there are thousand and one ways to configure the flexi-fold dividers to put whatever gear I need. When I decide to attach my camera together with the Gorilla Pod a la Casey Neistat, I could configure the flexi-fold dividers to fit both Gorilla Pod and the camera together. Now the organizational possibilities are great. The items fit fairly snug, just fairly. I've used bags where lenses and cameras fit neatly in designated shelves and stay put. This however, depending on what you put in the bag and how you hold them, the item does move around a little in their own compartment. This is a trade-off that Peak Design made in order to have customizable compartments and utilizing more space for more items and having a better bag access. Now speaking of access. As much as the bag is great for storage, it is not going to be a good of a bag if it's not practical on the field. The bag is designed to be accessed from the top and both sides of the bag. This makes it easier for me in getting my camera gear while on the go. 
The strap mechanism works very well in swinging the backpack from carry to access. It does take a couple of times of practice before it feels second nature to using it. The only complaint would be trying to remember what I've put in either side of the bag. That too wouldn't be a problem once we get some pace in using the bag. Now if you are a photographer like me that needs to access the equipment, the lenses in the bag pretty frequently while you're doing a lot of street foot photography, the side access on this bag is actually quite awesome. You just got to pull this lever, swivel it around, swivel it around and then you can just access the bag, your camera, your lenses like almost quite easily. The biggest problem with this is that trying to remember what did you put on each side but I guess that's something to actually practice and remember. This means if you are a street photographer who constantly need access to swap out lenses while on the go, this bag would be great. That's it, if your style of photography lets you put down your bag to access the gear, i.e. like a wedding photographer, I feel a bag access backpack is more convenient. It does makes me wonder though, why wouldn't it be possible to add another zipper for the back access to this backpack? That may be a good idea. The top pocket on the backpack provides a quick storage to my passport, sunglasses, and quick and small items where I can easily access from the top zippers. Now the material used in these pockets are soft and making it very gentle to glass surfaces. I've always have my headphones and some battery packs and various in-flight items that I need to carry during my flight. Hence, I pack them in the fuel pouch so it would be easy for me to access and remove the fuel pouch from the backpack when I stow the backpack on the upper compartment in the plane. This is a standard tra strap. One hand operated, I can just press out and let go to release. Oh, I could just buckle it up this way and pull to tighten. Otherwise, pull to let go and then push to open. Pretty easy. Now, I've been wearing the bag for the past 4-5 hours to review and I've been putting on the stainless steel strap on and off. And what happened, I found that when you have the stainless steel strap, it does take the weight off the bag when, while you're carrying it. So, this strap over here works very well. When I carry so much gear with the bag, the backpack straps and together with the sternum strap works wonders in distributing the weight. The sternum strap supports makes carrying a heavy backpack a lot more bearable. They do have waist belt built into the backpack. Now unless I'm running together with the backpack and I need it to sit snug and tight, I don't see myself using the waist belt as much as the sternum as it doesn't really help too much in terms of distributing weights. There are a few more features of the backpack that I didn't really need for most of my travel but it is great to have these options. There are compression straps hidden in the side pockets for the tripod storage and the compression straps in front of the bag hidden between magnets for external carries. I can see myself using these features sometimes but not all the time. Did I also mention that the side pockets are huge? If it carries a tripod, it will carry a water bottle. Overall, the anticipation that I had for this backpack did not disappoint. The build of the bag is great, it looks good and more importantly designed very well. The price of the backpack does come with the premium price tag and I'm hoping this backpack would last me for ages. Maybe the backpack would last ages but you know, we are photographers and we love our bags. X equals to X plus 1 remember? Well, only time would tell. So here we are back in KL after a long week off from New Zealand to Melbourne and down back here. The bag survived, um, pretty good shape. I love the bag, it works pretty well. Um, it does what it does, the side access is pretty awesome. It's easy for me to grab my camera out when I need it while I'm walking around in Melbourne especially. Um, the weight distribution of this bag is perfect for me. Uh, the stainless steel strap works well and wonders. It takes on a lot of the weight distribution load off my shoulders a lot. Uh, in terms of say uh, total gear fit, I think 
it cannot fit too much but it's just enough for me to actually go around to shoot it's easy for me to access like I say otherwise overall a very very good investment a very very good bag so I hope you guys like this video like the review and if you like this kind of video do subscribe me on YouTube I'll see you guys on the next one